discuss uh, Bill George and how the future of health care will play into the presidential election. A couple of things. I, I had three things that, that I saw if we would talk health care. Number one uh, is that we are starting to see a pushback for some of the mergers that were actually sort of the, the Obamacare grease the skids for these mergers in, in the insurance business. They almost have to do it. I love this piece in Andrew's paper here. Uh, what are a hospital's costs? A Utah system is trying to learn. They have no idea. It's a question that's never been asked. They know what insurance companies pay them, but they have no idea uh, what, their, what their costs actually and are. The staff everything. laughed when she was asking the question. Yes, yeah, like, the really? Person, you're yeah, asking, asking us what questions. things are? So the combination, uh, uh, we haven't fixed health care either. And, right. and costs are starting to accelerate again, the, the uh, health care inflation again. So you were with Medtronic. Those things were expensive. And now this new, that's the other thing, that the New York Times has an editorial on these new cholesterol drugs. Those are going to be expensive. They'll, they could break the bank if everyone that needs them gets them. What do we do? Joe, we're heading for a day of reckoning in health care costs. It's not going to happen in this administration. They'll push it out into the next administration. Somebody's going to have to face the music. We made a lot of concessions to the uh, health plans. Now the big merger, I'm particularly concerned about the Anthem Sigma merger. You are too. Yeah, yeah, I'm concerned. I mean, as you get like three players, price are, look, they've already raised rates this year 25 to 38 percent. So you're, that's going to play out. I see it sitting on the board of Mayo. The new drug, the new round of pharma drugs are incredibly valuable, but the price is $100,000 so for a drug. If you add, if you don't increase the doctors or the, or if you don't increase the infrastructure for health care and you add 50 million new people, what do you expect insurance companies to do? And, and a lot of, of young people don't right. sign up because it, and it, that hasn't worked because yeah. they're, they're healthy. So you got all these sick people that have signed up. What do you expect insurance companies to do other than raise rates when exactly. they're, they're, and they we're have seeing, to do it? Joe, the other thing we're seeing is a significant shift in payer mix right now away from commercial pay where people have to have co-pays, shared pays, yeah. they're, they're using health care less. It's not necessarily they need health care less, they're using it less, but big increase in Medicare and Medicaid. And you know, yeah. everyone's losing money on Medicare and Medicaid, they're huge losses, so you have to offset these. Right. This is a big concern, and I think you're heading, like I say, for a, 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 a reckoning coming, you and you're not going to be able to, I think the government, look, every time you've run into pressure at the government level, they've made concessions to consumers, and you've got to pay for that. So somehow... This is all going to accumulate, and we're going to have well, to face that, and it's going to be a significant increase. Well, write a book on that. What do you have to <laughs> solve worries. that for us, for, for your next book? we gotta, we, we got to deal with the basic health, health issues. Right. Uh, otherwise, you're just going to see it exploding. Right. Great to have you on. Have you. Thank, Thank you, you. Congratulations on the book. Thank you very much.